legs. People link me to this shit like with a straight face every day. It's so annoying. Yeah, it's easy. We got to click on the bald heads. This is a man's head. This is a man's head. This is a man's head. Look, this is a fucking egg. This is an egg. This is a man's head. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. This last one's kind of tough. I think it's you. Okay, see, it's not 79%. What is people are they have innate bald baldestness? Many the average person out there is a little baldest. You're not telling me somebody listen, I could see this one. Maybe it's it's an old person with a mole or something. This is clearly an egg. There's no shot. If you thought that this was a person's skin, you need to leave your house and go outside. This is not a, a, a human skull. You're so wrong. Like this, this one's a gimme. You can see a little fuzz, okay? And then it's just like the way the light hits it. This skin, you can see the little divot here. This, no disrespect, he's got a little pimple or something on top of his head. It happens all the time. This was the only one that was tricky. Because the skin was so smooth. That might even be a bald cap, in my opinion. But, like, none of these other ones were even close. That's just a damn joke that, that anybody could get this wrong. That one egg has flesh on it? It's not flesh. It's just it's more chitin or whatever the heck a eggshell is made out of. Bald Disney princes? Can you name these Disney princes with male pattern baldness? I bet there's none. There's none. <laughs> Closest we get is Prince Hans having bad sideburns. Yeah, I'm sniffing. I I hid the illness for for two days, but I, I was a little stuffed up this morning. It affected my, my Peloton ride. Only happened to get a, a, it was like a 485, 45 minute Dennis Morton reggae ride. But then I thought that maybe part of the reason that I didn't do so well on the ride is because I don't know any reggae. But it was still like a pretty good, it was a pretty good ride. Can't really complain. Musicians gone bald. Picture click the Baldwin brothers. Thoughts on Bradley Rose? I find his demeanor a little grating. No disrespect. I guess a little disrespect. Um, but I, I like some of his playlists and I like his, his programming. So I do occasionally ride with, with, with Bradley Rose. Peloton Sporkle? No, we won't be doing that. But I, I appreciate the suggestion. Picture box quizzes. Rapper by movie role. Upset musicians. Upset musicians? Can you name these music musicians when seen at their worst? That's Michael Jackson. He doesn't look that upset. He looks maybe a little bit annoyed. Elton John. Freddie Mercury. Bro, Michael Bublé, why is Michael Bublé upset? He's just at the, he's at like an awards show or something. That's a, just a candid photo. It's Amy Winehouse, Dave Grohl, Taylor Swift on Ellen. How upset could she be? Kelly Rowland. That is not Eminem at his most upset. This is ridiculous. That's Jay-Z. Adele merely looks like she is mad that she's like out she she wait she's been waiting too long for her drink refill. Ed Sheeran looks like he should be on like a Netflix show about somebody being interrogated that they're about to admit to murder. Rihanna looks bemused at worst. Beyonce looks a little peeved. Katy Perry, I don't know what's going on in this photo. She's got a one of her eyelashes is stuck. Stevie Wonder doesn't look mad. He just looks disappointed. This is an easy and weird quiz. My reaction when I have to pay my tax bill. So true. So true. Upset business people. 
Yeah, that's um, Jeff Bezos. Uh, Bezos. That's um, that's a lady. That's Steve Jobs. That's a lady. That's Warren Buffett. That's a lady. It's Richard Branson. It's Mark Cuban. Please, let me get one of the women right. I'm begging you. I, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not going to. Mark Zuckerberg, Miss Donald Trump. I don't know this guy either. That's Elon Musk. That's Bill Gates. What what the hell is wrong with Steve Ballmer, man? He is looking upset. Steve Ballmer. This is the Australian lady who owns all the oil, right? And then this is um, Tim Apple. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. I wish that I did. Sheryl Sandberg, Mary Barra. I know Sheryl Sandberg. She's the recently resigned CMO from Meta. Vera Wang, Larry Page, okay. Meg Whitman. Am I right? She's the she's the Australian land baroness. I think so. It's just she she's pointing Australian. It looks like she's going. Yo. It looks like she's calling on Sheila for a question. Shayla? Upset comedians. They're not that upset. That's Amy Poehler. That's Amy Schumer. That's Dave Chappelle is not upset. He's merely in the midst of answering a question here. That's Daniel Tosh. Kevin Hart looks genuinely upset. Is Jerry Seinfeld? It's Joan Rivers? Is Ellen DeGeneres? Larry David again not looking upset, just for the record. Russell Brand, Ricky Gervais looks like someone just told him that they got back from church. Uh, is Robin Williams? Trevor Noah, Wanda Sykes, Sarah Silverman. And again, Sasha Baron Cohen does not look upset at all. He, he just looks like a normal person experiencing a neutral emotion. Upset figures in science. What do you, what, is this like a fetish quiz? Like what's wrong with this? <laughs> Sure, Greta is a little bit upset, okay? Neil deGrasse Tyson, looking like... His reaction when I told him I thought Top Gun Maverick was good. This, these are just weird quizzes, man. Upset animals? Amused basketball players? You know, this could be fun. I don't know anything about basketball, really. I know that this is Kobe Bryant. I know that this is Chris Bosh. I know that this is Michael Jordan. I know that that's Dwayne Wade. I know that's Allen Iverson. I know that that is Shaquille O'Neal. I know that's Magic Johnson. That's Anthony Davis. It's LeBron James. It's Larry Bird. Scottie Pippen. Ben Simmons. Rashad Wallace. Rashid Wallace. Dirk Nowitzki, Steve Nash, Carmelo Anthony, Kawhi Leonard. I know everything there is to know about basketball. Average score, 85. I, all I can really say about this one is that, like, half of these athletes are the most famous basketball players of all time. And like the other half just happened to play like in the era where I watched Sports Center every morning, which was like eleventh grade. Like Carmelo Anthony, Rashid Wallace, Steve Nash, Allen Iverson, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosch. Like that and Kawhi Leonard, of course, was very famous for winning the championship in, in Toronto and also winning it for Toronto. Okay, now watch this. Amused soccer players. I know this. Your gigs. Your I know your your ass. You're John Terry. You're Ronaldinho. Your ass is I I know him. He's very famous. 
is Maradona. You're Rio Ferdinand. You're Steven Gerrard. You're Messi. Keeping it kind of clean with it. You're Mbappe. You're Thierry Henry. You're Ibrahimovic. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who this is. Is this David Seaman? It is. Now you, I don't know who you are. I'm willing to admit I don't know who you are. Are you Joey Chestnut? Now, now you are Mr. Hair Transplant himself, Wayne Rooney. You, I don't know who you are. And I don't know who you are. No, I do. You're Neymar Jr. wearing a hat. And then you are Gareth Bale. I'm kind of crazy with soccer. Alan Shearer. And Rivaldo. There's no shot I'm getting this. The only... Back in the day, you'd play as Brazil in like international superstar soccer in 1998. You, you boot up uh, the game. Ronaldo passes to Ronaldinho, passes to Rivaldo, passes to Geraldo, passes to all you need. If you give it to, to somebody with one name, you're about to score a goal. It's just that easy. Ronaldinho wasn't a thing in 98. I mean, he was probably like a thing. I'm not doing this. is too easy. If I could do soccer players, I can do this. He is, Jim Carrey is amused here. Throw another shrimp on the Barbie. Confused musicians. It's the same people. It's like almost exactly the same cast, except, I mean, Michael Jackson does look a little confused, I'll admit. We got Eric Clapton in here. We got Drake, Justin Bieber, Britney Spears, Billy Eilish. Uh, everyone else is just they're it's the same group okay this is it's the same group man no it's not it's not but it's michael jordan it's dwayne wade it's dennis rodman it's paul pierce that's not paul pierce that's not paul pierce okay this is dirk nowitzki vince carter ben wallace and then glasses. I remember glasses guy. Oh, what's glass? Glasses, what's your name? Glasses. Horace Grant. I, I stole it. I can't take that. This, this guy with the Los Angeles on looks kind of familiar. I don't know who he is, though. I see LeBron James. I see Kobe Bryant. I see Manu Ginobili. Manu, I, is this not Manu Ginobili? Manu Ginobili. Is this not Manu Ginobili? It is Manu Ginobili. It's spelled wrong. Thank you. Ginobili? G Gin Ginobili. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I see Alan Iverson. I see Larry Bird. I see Carmelo Anthony. feel like I should know this guy. Derek Rose, Paul George, Horace Grant, and Isaiah Thomas. Upset soccer players? Oh, no. They are looking kind of upset, to be honest. This is Ronaldo. This is Messi. This is Neymar. This is Zlatan. Ibrahimovic. I don't know who this guy is. You're Lewandowski. Nope. <laughs> really? Really? You, oh, you got it. You just spelled it wrong. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. You are Mazet Ozil. I don't know you or you. I don't know you. 
I know Luis Suarez. You ever notice how much Luis Suarez looks like uh, one of the property brothers? He could actually be like the, th the fourth property brother because I think there is a third one that just doesn't do property. He's like the long lost property brother. I never realized it. This, his name is Luis Suarez. That's Ronaldinho. You could have given me like the slightest bit of his face to, to guess. And then I got to be honest, I don't know who you are either, but I'm amazed I got 50%. That's Mbappe. That's Kevin De Bruyne. That's Jamie Vardy. This is the guy who used to play for Newcastle United and got in trouble all the time, right? Raheem Sterling, Paul Pogba, and David Luiz. No? Who's the guy who used to play for Newcastle United and got in trouble all the time? That's Joey Barton! <laughs> so true. <laughs> My mistake. Please do explain a film plot badly. Okay, I'll try. I'll, I'll try. Explain a film plot badly. Can you pick the, the film based on its poorly explained plot? Hey, Cetra13, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Insomniac can't stop talking to himself. The Shining. What? The world's machinery is threatened by malfunctioning batteries. That's the Matrix. Estranged father tries to get his son to join the family business. Empire Strikes Back. Drunken pranksters break up a drug ring. I pass. An illegal immigrant goes on the run to avoid capture by the feds. That would be E.T. A depressed astronaut and his friends traumatize a young boy. Huh? Oh, wait, this is uh, Toy Story. Who do they traumatize? In How does Andy get traumatized in Toy Story? Oh, Sid. <laughs> That's true. Sid does get traumatized. Pregnant woman seeks different answers from, different, from several different men. That, Fargo, Fargo. Marge Gunderson is pregnant. Local wildlife wreaks havoc on a small town. A reporter seeks answers as wild animals roam the city. This is TMNT. A wealthy man gets in fights with a clown and a burn victim. This is the Dark Knight. A small town doctor brings people closer together. That would be the human centipede. A multi-sport athlete becomes an absentee father. Forrest Gump. A boxer searches for his father's watch. That would be Pulp Fiction. Woman suffers a fatal allergic reaction while attempting to apprehend her sister's killer. What? I've seen all of these. <laughs> Rampant inflation causes a housing crisis. That's up. Angry father racks up a large hotel bill. This is bullshit. Insomniac talks to himself is The Shining. He does not rack up a bill at the hotel. He's the caretaker. Like at the start of the movie, I think they say like, help yourself to the amenities. A politician is implicated in the assassination of a reporter. Monty Python is the end of the Holy Grail. Newspaper intern takes up parkour. Spider-Man. Teen befriends loner old man. That's Back to the Future. Bullying victim seeks to acquire a gun. Christmas story. Drunken pranksters break up a drug ring. Local wildlife wreaks... It must be Kung Fu Panda. I've never seen it. 
Woman suffers a fatal allergic reaction while attempting to apprehend her sister's killer. Drunken pranksters break up a drug ring. Super troopers? And there's no allergic reaction in Fight Club. We got 95, though. I'm melting. Oh! Wait a minute. The witch is allergic to water. But Dorothy kills Glinda, the good witch? I haven't seen The Wizard of Oz since it was in theaters, for the record. The house falls on her? Yeah, like, what did Dorothy have to do with the damn house? It was just, a, it was an accident, right? Criminal negligence, maybe. I gotta see The Wizard of Oz, man. I'm not going to do seven of these. It's, it's just too much. A couple's marriage gets so complex. This is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. A love triangle between an 18-year-old girl, a 100-year-old guy, and a dog. What is this? Am I the asshole? Indigenous teen finds interracial romance as Europeans bring disease and violence to her land. It doesn't sound like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Lunatic lures children with chocolate and candy, then takes them out one by one in front of their parents. That sounds like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This sounds like Shutter Island. Leonardo DiCaprio... Oh, no, this sounds like Inception. Leonardo DiCaprio gets caught up in his dreams. Bookish woman kidnapped by monsters. Beauty and the Beast. A story that ends despite its title. That's a tough one. I'm going to say it's a never-ending story. A movie about how the earth has already ended. I mean, it feels like it's 2012, right? Strangers sit in a room and shout profanities at each other. This is like, this could be half of the movies here. I'm going to say it's 12 Angry Men. Old sister ruins younger sister's chance to be on nationally televised game show. I don't know this one. A lot of people take the ice bucket challenge. It doesn't end well. That's Titanic. A wisecracking boiler technician teaches high school students to believe in their dreams. That's a nightmare on Elm Street. Depressed widowed father teams up with mentally challenged female to find his son. Huh? Huh? Liam Neeson will find someone and he will kill him. That's not badly explained. That is the plot. Immigrant adoptee is repatriated to country of birth, experiences culture shock and prejudice. This is Captain America, the first Avenger. What? <laughs> A singing nun. Okay, that would be The Sound of Music. Group spends nine hours returning jewelry. Lord of the Rings. Scrawny man gets big. Okay, Captain America. These, what happened? The first one was like a trick. These ones are literally just like the plot. Man builds a house for a very forgetful girl. The Notebook. Teenager undergoes extreme body modification to get a man. The Little Mermaid. Bullied kid with birth. Why are all these so judgmental too? Bullied kid with birth defect. Open parentheses, immigrant, open parentheses, uh, mentally challenged. Like, the, the quiz is giving off so many bad vibes, man. People are only nice to you when they need something. That's Rudolph. Divorced father kills senior citizen, open parentheses, mentally challenged, steals his identity. Divorced father kills senior citizen, takes his identity. It's the Santa Claus. Poor young man with mental problems only wants to see his sister, but everyone's against him. I'm passing. Oh, wait, this must be Halloween. Yet again, vast sums of taxpayers' money. Okay, this is the Martian. Yet again, it's the Martian. Girl has to pretend she's a man to be taken seriously. Mulan. A love triangle between an 18-year-old girl, a 100-year-old guy, and a dog? It's Twilight? Indigenous teen finds interracial romance. It's, this is such a weird quiz, man. Just the way that they word things is freaking me out. It's Pocahontas. This is the Hunger Games. 
Depressed widowed father teams up with mentally challenged female to find his son. Bro, Dory's not mentally challenged. She's blissfully unaware. Every single one of these sounds like a Lin-Manuel Miranda lyric from the first act of Hamilton. How does an immigrant, old man, senior citizen, mentally challenged, facing prejudice, living in, a, in the ocean? It's, it's like a... It, it's just giving off bad vibes, man. Female. I got the, the, the lull out of Jay. I'll take it. Ooh. Eminem could drop a banger on this. It's an awfully hot coffee pot. They need to make more trivia, man. Final Jeopardy kind of goes hard. I do love the Final Jeopardy questions because they're like just difficult. I can do this. We've warmed up enough. In May 1999, he had the number one hot spot on the Hot 100, Top 40, Hot Latin, and Hot Dance Music. And I was like, dude, this is Ricky Martin. This is so easy. I'm so smart. Then, 2000, back to school, week game one. Contestants were children aged 10 to 12. Fuck you. It's Ricky Martin. <laughs> this young man who turned 18 on June 21st, 2000, has a dog named Widgeon and a younger brother named Harry. Bro, this is definitely still children aged 10 to 12. But let's ease into it. This is Prince William. It's the only mainland country in the Western Hemisphere that borders only one other country. What is Portugal? What? <laughs> Sorry. Dude, it's not Canada. Canada shares a border with France. And St. Saint, Pierre and Miquelon. Bro, it's not Canada. We have, I mean, we, we share a nautical border with France off the coast of Newfoundland. In the 1860s, okay, bicycle. Famous landmark. Its nose is four and a half inches long. It's, this is the Statue of Liberty. Okay, I think I'm done with the 10 to 12 year old questions now. The two states that named their capitals for Christopher Columbus. What is Ohio and that's, I was going to say South Carolina. This musical inspired by an opera features the songs, the gods love Nubia and another pyramid. What is Aida? Are we, are we still in? Okay. We're, we're in normal adult questions now. Presidential 2000 presidential hopefuls. This Harvard law grad who worked in Nixon's Consumer Affairs Department also served in the Reagan and Bush cabinets. I don't remember who ran in the 2000 primaries because I was 12 years old. I'm going to say maybe this was Dick Cheney. I'm going to, I don't know this one, I'm going to pass. These political party names began as two negative terms for... To, as negative terms for the two factions warring over the 1678 meal tub plot. These political party names began as negative terms for the two factions warring over the 1678 meal tub plot. Am I crazy to think this could be like Wig? Wig, wig and Tory was what I was thinking the other one was? I'm a genius? Founded in 1887 to gain a monopoly on fundraising, it evolved into the United Way. To gain a monopoly on fundraising? Are you telling me that this is... <laughs> don't say... Don't say Hasbro. Don't say Parker Brothers. Who makes Monopoly? Parker Brothers? <laughs> is it has Milton Bradley? Hasbro? I don't know. I pass. The Warriors, the 76ers, the Lakers, and the Harlem Globetrotters all retired his number. Who's Magic Johnson? Who is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Who is... 
President Bush. I got to pass. Will Chamberlain. Gary Sinise and Meg Ryan have each co-starred in three feature films with this actor. Who is Tom Hanks? Next question. It took nearly 22 hours to achieve this in 1875. In 1994, it only took seven hours and 15 minutes. What is running a mile? What is swimming across the Atlantic? What is a, an Earth Day? What is flying across the Atlantic? Atlantic flight. What is sailing the America's Cup? I don't know this one. Something with computers. <laughs> I don't know. Swimming the English Channel. In September 1899, he equipped two ships to report the progress of the America's Cup yacht race to a New York City newspaper. Who's fucking Thomas Edison? Who's fucking Alexander Graham Bell? Who's John D. Rockefeller? Who is Tim Sweeney? That's tough. That's a tough one. It was founded in 1851 to serve the territory that included Indiana, Ohio, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, and part of Minnesota. What is the Midwestern University of Florida in Miami, Ohio, Tennessee? I'm going to say this is the university that is known as I'm going to say this is the Big Ten. I'm going to say this is, it was founded in 1851. I'm going to say this is ITT Tech. I have no idea. Northwestern. That makes a lot of sense. Sometimes being Canadian is a huge disadvantage. The petrous temporal bone, the hardest in the body, encases the delicate structure of this organ. What's the damn brain? Really? Sometimes it sucks to be Canadian, man. Was your heart... <laughs> your eyes? That's a good answer. I guess your eyes are an organ. I don't know. Famous first. The world's first one of these. Opened in 1925. It was in San Luis Obispo, California and had parking in front of each door. What is Jack in the Box? What is a Red Robin? <laughs> a motel? Great. How did you know that? Each door. How did you get that? This movie was dedicated to the 10,000 Gloucester fishermen who've lost their lives in 1623. What is the perfect storm? Around three years on the bestseller list, this book is subtitled An Old Man, A Young Man, and Life's Greatest Lesson. What is Tom DeLong's book of riddles? The Eastern variety of this language is based on the... This is Armenian? Come on. Forty years after a famous incident, he was awarded a DFC POW medal and National Defense Medal served posthumously. Forty years... Sorry, I'm just... I'm wiping my nose. This would be from 2000 and... The 2000. So this would be from 1960. And he was awarded a, a medal posthumously 1960 40 years after a famous incident posthumously so after he died it's gonna sound crazy what if i typed bob hope <laughs> it's obviously not uh John McCain, he died in like 2017 or something. Name for the outline it commonly produces. It affects 40 million U.S. men. What is male pattern baldness? 
What is male pattern baldness? It is male pattern baldness. 2000 president. Oh, I got to give up. Okay. Elizabeth Dole. Okay. Community chest. <laughs> it was not uh, Parker Brothers. Will Chamberlain. Chat was on that one. English Channel Swim. They were on that one. Oh, yeah. Guglielmo Marconi. Of course. I, that was my first guess. Northwestern. It's fair enough. Inner Ear. Tuesdays with Maury and Francis Gary Powers for the 1960 U2 incident where they ran away and he will follow. Okay, let's try another one. Machines. This brand name comes from machines devised by Benjamin Holt to crawl over soft farmland. What is Caterpillar? Next question. The state motto of Ohio was ruled unconstitutional in April 2000 as it included, it included this word. What is God? Next question. Worth Magazine says, with 1.7 million ranch land acres in five states, this mogul is the USA's largest private land owner. Who is McDonald's? <laughs> ranch land acres. I, I couldn't even hazard a guess. I... I I'm just, I, I wouldn't know. Ted Turner. Makes, makes sense. Makes sense. This man has, in office since 1987, has a plaque in his office that reads, The buck starts here. Bill Buck? Something Buck? Bill Buck? The night before their first mass jump in 1940, paratroopers at Fort Benning saw a Western about this man. Who is Geronimo? Next question. The first NBA playoff game outside of the United States was played in this city. What is Toronto? Next question. As a warning to Congress, Presidential James, President James Garfield named his dog this. Whip. Named his dog this. Don't. Is a warning to Congress. President James Garfield named his dog this. Stop it. He named his dog Senate. He named his dog Vote. He I don't know. Vito, that's a great name. This annual event was co-created in 1993 by Mary C. Wilson, mother of five and president of the National Ms. Foundation. What is Miss America? What is Miss Universe? I have no idea. Mother's Day? 1993, that seems like pretty, pretty late for Mother's Day. The Video Game Awards. Cub Scouting, in many of its terms, like Aquila, Law of the Pack, Den, and Wolf, were inspired by this British work. What is? The Jungle Book. Yeah! Oh! David Ben-Gurion described her as the only man in my cabinet. Who is... What's that, uh, what's that lady's name? It's not Adina Menzel. Golda, my, my, Golda, my ear. Golda, my ear. The only palaces on U.S. soil that were built for monarchs, monarchs are found in this state. Delaware. Fucking, who cares? Carolina. <laughs> Hawaii, that's such a good trick question. I'm mad at myself. I didn't think about the question enough. Since 1578, only 14 men have held this title, including a 1989 Nobel Prize winner. Historic titles. Who is the... Um, the Pope. 
the the Pope. Or maybe some women have held the title. What is the Queen of England? The Pope, the papacy, I pass. As House Majority Whip, he gets he works to get laws passed, though his name sounds like he puts them off. Who is Tom DeLay? Next question. Britain's National Portrait Gallery. In April 2000, the portrait of this living woman was moved from the contemporary section to history. Who, I mean, I feel like this would be Queen Elizabeth II. Okay, I feel like this is Margaret Thatcher. Should have gone with Thatcher. College sports history. To prevent rivals from reading its hand signals, this university is said to have originated the huddle around 1892. How the hell am I supposed to know this? Is there like the University of Huddle? 1892. You know what? I bet it's Harvard and Yale have a big rivalry. I'm going to say it was Yale. I'm going to say it was Harvard. I'm going to pass. Two of the people who witnessed his execution were John Wilkes Booth and Stonewall Jackson. Who was Robert E. Lee? Who was Dred Scott? Who was... What, what's the name of the... Wait, what are you talking about, Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln was not executed. He was assassinated. He wasn't on trial for being a president. And then they were like, get this dude out of here. Put him in the electric chair. Who, who led the slave rebellion that was a precursor to the American Civil War? John Brown. John Brown. See? It's not Abraham Lincoln. This Midwest city is the only state capital whose unabbreviated name starts with three consonants. Fuck. <laughs> Just sh sh shut it, okay? Just shut it for a second. Unabbreviated Saint, state name, because I wanted to say St. Louis. I don't even know if St. Saint, Saint Louis is in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. Fuck is the capital? Is, is it could be Chey it's not Cheyenne. I give up. I don't know this one. The, the great creator said these animals couldn't eat the fish of the river, so they fed on the land at night. What is a lion? <laughs> I don't know. Used in the 40s for a sudden loss of power in a jet engine, Herbert Freudenberger applied it in 1974 to spent people. What is exhausted? I don't know. That's I, fl Burned out? Burned out? Yay! They don't let you take two cracks on Jeopardy, but still, I'm proud of myself. This woman designed the New York City Museum for African Art, as well as a famous memorial in Washington, D.C. My two uh, least well-known subjects, architects who are also women. I'm going to say <laughs> that I pass. In 1829, he leaves an islet in Marseilles Harbor and finds treasure on an islet in Italy's Tuscan archipelago. Who is um, Robinson Caruso? <laughs> the Count of Monte Cristo. Malf would get that one. This software billionaire, Bill Gates' rival, got his last name from his family's port of entry into the U.S. Who is Larry Ellison? <laughs> cool you didn't think I was gonna get that one did you that one would have been a stumper on Final Jeopardy for sure hey, I'll take my 50% okay give me, give me one more I was thinking I was like Steve Jobs Jobs would he come in on Jobs Island 
You know what's crazy is that in 2000, we had Bob Hope, Steve Jobs, and Johnny Cash. Now we got fucking no jobs, no hope, no cash. But at least we have sparkling water. This joke again for the 3,000th time. Yep. He and dude, I I swear to you, I didn't even read. It must have entered my subconscious. He invented carbonated water as a byproduct of his investigations into the chemistry of air. Who is Bill Lacroix? I'm. I have to. The chemistry of air. This must be Isaac Newton. This must be Leibniz. This must be a famous chemist. This must be Euler. This must be the ideal gas law. I don't know. I pass. Bill Pepsi? This Bill something. I'll tell you that with 100% confidence. There's no longer a space race, but there used to be some years ago. In 1957, the Soviets sent up Sputnik 1 carrying a radio beacon and Sputnik 2 carrying one of these animals. Is a dog? That's Laika. Put some respect on, on Laika's name. The entire action of this... Eugene O'Neill play takes place in 1850 at a New England farmhouse flanked by massive trees. I don't know this answer. I don't know this one. Cabin in the Woods. Great guess. I've seen the movie based on it. In 1939, the state finally finished off paying a $12.4 million debt to the state from which it had separated. I mean, a West Virginia, perhaps? A Dakota, perhaps? Um, 1939. Let's assume the terms of that debt were like 30 years. Maybe 50 years. That's $12.4 million. It wasn't that much money on a, on a state level, even in 1939. You could... You could... Listen, just let me work with this. Is, I don't... 1939, this state finally finished up paying off a $12.4 million debt to the state from which it has separated? I have absolutely no idea. I have no clue. I'm going to say that it's South Dakota. I really thought it could work. In 1928, this oil man served as chairman of the Republic State Central Committee of Kansas. Who is Bill Husky? Bill Chevron? Who is uh, Union Standard? Who is, I don't know any oil men, I think. Rockefeller? I thought Ro Rockefeller, he's a, isn't he a railroad guy? Maybe Carnegie? I don't know. I don't know anything about Carnegie. African American authors. A conversation he had with Miles Davis became the first of the Playboy interviews in 1962. I'll be passing on this. Civil rights history. By 1948, all but one of the nine in this group charged in a 1931 crime had been freed. Who are these sinister six? This is, are we on Tournament of Champions or something? This is impossible. <laughs> For me, at least. Called the Little Brother of War, it's the oldest team sport to have been played in what's now the U.S. The Little Brother of War? What is rugby? What is um, lacrosse? It is lacrosse, holy cow. I was thinking in, in what is now known as America, it must have been like a, an aboriginal sport. Currently, this show is performed by three troops, the Liffey and Lagan companies on tour and the Shannon company on Broadway. It's a very popular play. The Shan I mean, what would be the most popular play in the year 2000? Maybe the Phantom of the Opera? Maybe Rent, maybe Cats, maybe Stomp, <laughs> maybe Oklahoma, maybe South Pacific. I'm going to have to go ahead and say that this one is probably like Ain't Misbehavin'. 
I'm going to say this one's probably the Lion King. It's, without a doubt, it's guys and dolls. I would probably have to say that it's damn Yankees. Um, I'm running out of plays, except for like the HMS Pinafore. Um, I'm running out of plays. I'm running out of plays. I'm passing. Carl Sandburg wrote a 1932 biography of this woman called Wife and Widow. 1932. Biography. Let's assume that this is um, a, a famous first lady. It's too early to be Eleanor Roosevelt. So I am going to type <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> okay, I pass. Made available for download in July 2000 by the UCSC. The 739 megabyte file of this project consists of A's, T's, G's, and C's. What is the human genome project? Don't download that shit. That's got my data. I don't consent to you receiving my genomic data. Okay. That's my intellectual property. Sports legends. If Joe DiMaggio's hitting streak had gone one more game in 1941, this company would have given him a $10,000 contract. Who is the CIA? Who is this company? This company? This Coca-Cola I don't have no idea. Louisville, it makes perfect sense. Between 1894 and... Or Wrigley's? Wrigley's, maybe? Heinz? Draft Kings? Between 1894 and 1901, adherents of this political theory killed the heads of the state of France, Spain, Italy, and the U.S., What is anarchism? I'm insane, dude. I'm crazy. They were introduced in 1941, designated as just plain in 1954, and rechristened as milk chocolate in 2000. What are Hershey's Kisses. What are M&M's? Fuck. <laughs> that one, if I, if I ever made it onto the show, that one would keep me up at night for sure. Named for a U.S. statesman, it was known in Central America as the Flower of the Holy Night. What is the Garfieldium? I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. This co-founder of United Artists returned to the U.S. in 1972 to pick up a special Oscar. Who is Puccini? Who is Fellini? Who is... I don't know. I pass. A city with this name is the most populous city in both Maine and Oregon. What is this, for 12-year-old kids? Yep. Children were aged 11 to 13. Perfect. That would be Portland, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> we did, the difficulty fell off a cliff. Hero whose son is seen here on a Swiss postage stamp. Who is William Tell? Is William Tell a hero? I thought he shot that dude in the head with a crossbow. For his service in the Civil War, Congress made him General-in-Chief of the Armies. Uh, I'm going to say it's Ulysses S. Grant. I'm crazy. I'm crazy at 11 to 13 year old uh, Jeopardy. <laughs> the most dangerous toy for children up to age eight is this party decoration. Balloons. No question. By population, it's the largest city on a Caribbean island, though you may not be allowed to go there. It's Havana. I, I pass. This, this is tough, man. Okay, Joseph Priestley discovered oxygen in 1774, allowed us to all breathe a little easier. Desire Under the Elms was the American drama. No chance. West Virginia! 
I was going to say West Virginia, but then I was like, this seems like it's, like, that's literally, actually, it kind of makes sense. That is 50 years past, like, 54 years past the end of the Civil War. But then I was like, why would it take you, like... 50 years to pay off $12 million, even in the 30s. And then I realized, oh, because it's West Virginia. Ah, boo, why are you booing me? It was a droll little bone mo. Come on. Now introducing the world's richest state, California. Boo, boo. This oil man, it was Alf Landon, Okay. Alex Haley. I just want to point out the category was African-American authors, and everybody in chat thought the answer here was Hugh Hefner. So I just want to... I don't feel as bad for no guess. Because I, I don't know Hugh Hefner's background, but I don't know. I don't think he's from Africa. Scottsboro Boys. Okay, I did not know that one. River dance, river dance was insanely popular when I was like 12. That shit went crazy. I knew it. River dance was a moment. River dance, if you had told me that only the Blue Man group would still be around, between river dance, stomp, and the Blue Man group, I would have told you you're crazy in, in 2000. The names are all Irish rivers. Perf makes perfect sense. Mary Todd Lincoln makes makes sense. Okay. Heinz 57 sauce, 56 game streak. Honestly, I thought that the longest hitting streak in baseball would be like 106 games or something like that. Fifty six. I mean, I'm obviously it's impressive because it's it's noteworthy. It's on Jeopardy. 56 games in a row doesn't seem that much. Don't you get like four at bats a game? What is the average baseball player bat? Like 750? <laughs> Sorry. It's nearly a third of the season. Yeah, and Mitch Marner has like a 24 game point streak. That's like a third of the NHL season. It's not even close to the record. Wayne Gretzky had the, he had points in like 700 games in a row or something. It's considered the most unbeatable record in baseball. Maybe they should get better players. You ever consider that? So true. So true. It's literally impossible to hit a curveball. Dude, I was thinking about this. It was probably like two weeks ago. The first dude who threw a curveball must have been the GOAT. Like, imagine being in your, your second year in Major League Baseball. Pardon me. And then some, some new whippersnapper steps up to the damn mound and makes the ball go like, zhoo! Can you imagine being in the stands when the first curveball ever was thrown? They actually banned it. <laughs> really? You can't throw curves? <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. So baseball has always been a traditionalist game. Someone invented a curveball. They're like, you can't throw that. Why can't you throw a spitball? Is it because of the pandemic or is there like a, a rules-based reason? It killed a guy? What, like by, via a pathogen or did he, was he struck by the ball? It hit him in the head and he died? What the hell? <laughs> Dude, baseball is crazy. What do you think? I don't know. In like the early 20th century, people in baseball would just be like dying. People were named like Shoeless Joe Jackson and stuff. People didn't even have any damn footwear on. Best player of all time in 1910 was named like Bill Dickley or something like that. And then sport was like back, it started in like the 1800s.
Bobson Dugnut, so true. Poinsetta, named for Joel Poinsett, the first U.S. minister to Mexico. Charlie Chaplin. I honestly thought Charlie Chaplin died like when he was like 24 years old. <laughs> Brother, there was an illegal defense in the NBA too. Yeah, actually that bothers me. I think it sucks that goaltending is a crime in the National Basketball Association. Isn't goaltending just being like insanely good at defense? Nobody would ever score? Well, maybe they could use a little less scoring considering the games end like 120 to 95. They'd have to raise the hoop, then we'd lose dunking. No, dude, they could just start shooting curveballs. <laughs> you imagine Steph Curry stepping up to the three-point line, shooting it like this, and then it like comes off of his hand and goes whoop and right into the basket. That would be sick, dude. That would be crazy. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll figure out what we're playing next. Oh, see you in two minutes.